REC, Silfab, or Maxion. Who makes the most efficient solar panels for your home as we're going into 2025? I'm gonna be answering that question and sharing with you my top three recommended high efficiency solar panels in today's video. The smarter way to go solar. All right, now in today's video, we're gonna be looking at the top three recommended high efficiency solar panels uh, as I'm recording now, as we're about to go into 2025. Now, when we talk about solar panel efficiency, what we're, what we're talking about really is the percentage of sunlight that hits the surface of the solar module. What percentage of that sunlight is successfully captured and converted into usable electricity versus how much just gets reflected away or how much passes straight through the module uh, or some is lost as heat as well in the conversion process. So module efficiency is very simply what percentage of sunlight that hits the surface of the panel gets successfully converted to electrical energy. Now, this is not the same as cost efficiency. So if what you're looking at is the cost efficiency of your solar system uh, or, or the dollar for dollar return on your solar investment, that is not necessarily the same thing as the module efficiency. The module efficiency only has to deal with what percentage of sunlight gets converted to electricity. Uh, and the reason that you can see those two things differ is because sometimes you may have to pay a very high price premium to get a more efficient solar module or a more efficient solar cell, but it may not return that premium to you uh, in the form of more energy harvest. So there is a point at which you really have to choose, are you going for the most efficient solar system just in terms of performance of the equipment or do you want the solar investment that's gonna give you the best dollar for dollar return on investment? Uh, of course, if you wanna talk through your options with a solar expert or get a quote from a contractor in your area, you can always hit the link below, set up a call or, or just use the free online tool to do that. But before you go into that conversation, make sure you understand what, what your goal is really. Is it to get the most efficient equipment regardless of the price or is it to get the solar system that's gonna give you the best dollar for dollar return on investment. And with that notice, let's get into the lineup. All right, coming in at number three is the new Silfab Prime 440 watt solar module. Now, the new Silfab Prime uses the new N-type solar cells, and they're able to achieve module efficiency of 22.6%. Now, as of this recording, and we're at the very end of 2024, uh, I would say any solar module that has over 22% module efficiency uh, could be considered a high efficiency solar module. Now, the Silfab Prime also has a lower degradation rate of only 0.3% per year. Uh, and they do provide a 30 year warranty. Now, when we talk about degradation rate, we're talking about what is the percentage of power production that's lost as the solar panel ages. Uh, a standard solar panel will lose about half a percent per year. The Silfab Prime 440 only loses 0.3% per year, which means that even in year 30, which is the, the terminal year of the warranty, you're still guaranteed about 90% of the initial rated power. Now, in terms of price, Silfab has always been a very, very price competitive solar module. Uh, and part of the reason for that is this is a made in USA solar panel. Um, not just final assembly in the USA, but they're also using a lot of domestically sourced or what they call domestic content material, which could help you qualify for additional tax credits. So overall, if you're looking for a good high efficiency state-of-the-art solar module that should be available abundantly at a competitive price, it's hard to go wrong with the Silfab Prime 440. All right, coming in at number two is the SunPower Maxion 7 445 watt panel. Now, I should make a note here first about SunPower and Maxion, because there's been a little bit of confusion. SunPower and Maxion used to be the same company. They did solar sales installation, and they also manufactured the solar panels and the solar cells themselves. But about four years ago, the company went through some sort of a bankruptcy restructuring where SunPower split off as the solar sales and installation company and Maxion retained all the manufacturing assets. Uh, now, as of this recording today, SunPower has actually gone out of business. Uh, in fact, if you haven't seen our previous video on is SunPower next to fail, uh, go back and watch the previous video where we explain some of the factors leading up to their bankruptcy. But Maxion, which is the actual physical product manufacturing business, um, the Maxion company and the Maxion product uh, is still a healthy product today and it's actually one of the best, most efficient solar panels that you can get for your home today. 
Uh, as you can see, the Maxion 7 achieves module efficiency of 24.1%, which is the highest that we're gonna see in this year's lineup. Uh, and this is what Maxion and SunPower had been known for for years, is having the most efficient solar cells, you know, the highest amount of power produced per unit of surface area. Now, another thing that Maxion had been known for, or when they were together with SunPower, they collectively were known for, is having some of the best warranty coverage available in the industry. Uh, and that's no different today. So Maxion, on the new Maxion 7, they do offer a 40-year warranty, and they also have one of the lower degradation rates. So again, when we talk about degradation rate, it's, it's the percentage of power production that's lost as the solar panel ages. So the lower the degradation rate, the more total energy your system is going to harvest over the lifetime of the system. But another factor of the Maxion warranty is the labor or the service component. So not only do they guarantee the product, the physical integrity and the, the electrical power output, but they'll also guarantee the labor or the service. So if a solar panel is defective and has to be replaced, Maxion will pick up the tab to pay for the installation or for the contractor to do that replacement uh, in the event that the contractor that did your original installation has gone out of business or for whatever reason is unable to provide warranty service. So you do get excellent protection here, but it comes at a premium price point. Uh, and chances are, if you're watching this video, if, if you've gotten quotes for solar for your home, uh, maybe you dealt in the past with a SunPower dealer, uh, or maybe you're, you're dealing with a contractor now that's quoting you Maxion solar panels, chances are it's going to be one of the most expensive, if not the most expensive price quote that you receive. And so although if we're just looking at raw solar module efficiency, Maxion is the highest in this year's lineup, you're gonna pay a premium price for it. In fact, the price premium that you have to pay is likely going to outweigh the performance benefits that you're going to receive in terms of higher power output or higher energy production. So that's why I mentioned earlier, before you go into this discussion, you really need to ask yourself, is your goal to have the most efficient solar system in terms of power performance, or is it to have the most efficient solar investment in terms of dollar for dollar percentage return? But it's hard to say anything bad about the Maxion panel. Again, it's a premium product, very high efficiency, excellent warranty, but you're gonna pay for it significantly. Today's video is brought to you by Solvari. If you're a solar installer looking to lower your labor cost, streamline your logistics, reduce time on site, and boost profitability, then you need to take a look at the new Solvari SR. Solvari SR is a first of its kind all-in-one solar module incorporating PV cells, microinverter, direct to deck mounting hardware, and wire management integrated and combined in a single SKU. The integrated design lowers labor, logistics, and permitting costs while allowing the installer to minimize installation crew time on site. So if you're ready to take your solar installation game to the next level, then go to the Solvari website or click the link in the description below so you can place your first order right away. And finally, coming in at number one is the new REC Alpha Pure RX 470 watt panel. Now, REC solar panels are made using what's called heterojunction technology, or HJT, which is a combination of crystalline silicon and amorphous silicon, or thin film silicon. Uh, and there's a number of tremendous advantages that come from the HJT cells. Uh, the first, of course, is greater energy density, or greater module efficiency, meaning that you're gonna be able to squeeze more power production or more energy harvest out of a limited roof space. Uh, and as you can see, with the new Alpha Pure RX 470, they achieve module efficiency of 22.6%. Now, the other advantage of the HJT technology is the lower temperature coefficient. And this is huge for those of you who live in areas that have extreme high, high temperatures during the summertime. Now, when we talk about temperature coefficient, the temperature coefficient is the percentage of power production that's lost for each degree above the ideal temperature when that solar panel has to operate. So solar panels are rated for what we call standard test conditions or, or STC, which is 25 degrees Celsius. And so every degree higher than that, you're going to lose a percentage of your power production. So the, the lower your temperature coefficient, the more production or the, or the better efficiency you're going to get out of that solar panel when it has to operate in extreme high temperatures. So if you're watching this, if you live in place like Phoenix, Las Vegas, uh, New Mexico, West Texas, 
the places where you get extreme high heat on the rooftop during summertime, then you may wanna take a look at a solar module like the REC Alpha Pure RX that has a very low temperature coefficient because that's gonna translate into better high heat performance, which just means more total usable energy will come out of that system when it has to operate in those conditions. And so although you may pay a slight premium for a high efficiency panel like this, it is likely going to return it to you in more energy yield, especially if you live in, extreme, in an extreme hot environment. Now, another benefit is the lower degradation rate. And so again, degradation rate is production that's lost due to aging. Uh, the REC Alpha Pure RX only loses a quarter of a percent per year uh, due to degradation, which means that you're guaranteed to have at least 92% of initial rated power out in year 25, which is the terminal year of the warranty. Uh, and again, all that just translates to you're going to get more usable energy harvest over the lifetime of the system. So if you're just comparing system watts to watts, that's not the whole story. A solar panel that loses less due to thermal losses having to operate during extreme temperatures and a solar panel that loses less due to aging is going to produce more energy per wattage of power over the lifetime of the system. So these are all things to consider. Another thing that REC offers is the ProTrust warranty. And so similar to Maxion, REC not only guarantees the product physical integrity and the power output, but it also guarantees the labor or the service to do any kind of solar panel replacement. So in the unlikely event that the, the contractor that does your original installation is out of business or for whatever reason, they're not able to perform service on your system, REC will take on at their own expense the cost of having another technician come out to replace a defective solar panel for you. But I think the overall reason that REC is ranked number one for the most recommended high efficiency solar panels is that with all of these performance benefits that they offer, you're going to pay a very slight price premium compared to a standard solar panel. Yes, you are gonna pay a slight price premium, but I'm estimating somewhere in the range of 10 cents to 25 cents per watt, um, compared to the Maxion panel where you could pay 50 cents a watt or more compared to a similar wattage standard solar panel. And for that reason, the REC Alpha Pure RX is our top recommended high efficiency solar panel as we're going into 2025. Um, by the way, I know many of you would like me to be able to quote specific pricing on these solar panel models. Uh, I'm afraid I can't do that. But if you do need to get a hold of a system or you need to get a hold of the solar panels themselves, like with the REC Alpha Pure RX uh, or any of the other leading panels, just, just reach out to your local solar equipment distributor where you can get specific pricing. Um, or of course, if you're a homeowner, you can reach out to your local contractor and ask them to give you a price quote for a full install, including the REC panels. Uh, in fact, if, you, if you're a homeowner, if you're in that process right now, if you don't have any price quotes yet, uh, or maybe you have one quote, you wanna get a comparison to make sure that you're getting the right equipment and getting the best deal, uh, as always, you can reach out to us on the link below here, set up a call with a solar surge expert, or just use the free online quote tool to see how much solar or battery storage costs in your area. Uh, by the way, guys, if you're getting good value from the videos that you watch here on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Uh, also hit that subscribe button. Help us get to that 100,000 subscriber mark in 2025. Well, that does it for today's top three most efficient solar panel presentation. Um, I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. <music>